Uh, hi guys, how are you? Type 8 here. Um, today I want to show you guys how you can make uh, this sort of growly lead bass sound with uh, phase 4. And I'm just discovering this synth. Uh, since, I, since I started using b uh, I've never looked too much into it, but it seems like really powerful and people are always discussing it. So uh, I I basically give it a shot to one of the sounds that I used to make with FM synthesis, trying to replicate with this since it's pretty much the same. Uh, the result is something like this. <laughs> Yeah, so it's basically this uh, Rowley type FM lead sound that you used to listen to a lot in a lot of dubstep and electro uh, songs. And yeah, I'm basically going to show you guys how you can make something like this. So let me open up a new instance of Phase 4. So Phase 4. Um, yeah. So. The, the main idea is to to modulate uh, this let me show you this this first oscillator which is the only one going to the output with a with a triangle shape and it, it can be perfectly this blue oscillator and then use another triangle shape but with a higher ratio to create high frequency content and also modulate this one and for a final touch, you can use a sine wave, uh, another oscillator with a sine wave modulating the high pitch oscillator. So it, it creates like this squelchy type uh, characteristic in the mid range and high frequency range. So yeah, let's give it a shot to that. So we have now this one going to the uh, to the output. Let me try to, to use it as sine. Um, the blue one, let's try to... You guys noted that uh, each one of these uh, color destinations is basically the amount of, of phase modulation basically that is going to to have this one uh, red oscillator. So you can see here how the, the waveform visual, visualization is changing. And what I want to do because I'm you know like I come kind of new in big way is to use a macro. Maybe there's a better way to achieve this, but yeah. So I'm going to use this macro to have all of my modulation assigned to just one knob. So it's going to be like this one is going to be modulated full. Also to write different optas, let me look for the node pitch shifter. Yeah, so basically the same, but using uh, this other oscillator with a high pitch ratio. So let's start by assigning a value and then dial a bit down because a lot of high frequency content is going to make the sound sound harsh and you guys don't want that. Yeah, so you're basically hearing now that we kind of getting the tone of the of the sound. Yeah, so to finish this one, it's, I always like to use a, a fourth oscillator and modulate the high pitch oscillator. So basically, you go here and modulate the, the yellow one. Is here. Yeah. Now we basically have the sound, but something that I would like to kind of like uh, 
point out is that if you if you were to do this one with a with an FM synthesizer, uh, the effect that a triangle shape will have it will be like more drastic, especially for the the main oscillator, the blue one that's modulating the red oscillator, and the high pitch oscillator is also modulating with a triangle shape. So let's see if we can try to to using the saw to waveform on the shape uh, knob try to, to turn it pretty much into a triangle yeah something like this and try to do the same with this one Yeah, so basically this is the sound. The other thing I did was to add the filter to the modulation, just so it opens up with the filter and add a bit of resonance as well. And a bit of distortion to make it like more crunchy. Yeah, and in my patch I have a, an EQ here uh, going like like in the end of the chain for, because there's a trick you can use to make basically a high pass filter. Let me see. Yeah, basically modulate the frequency and then the Q. And let me go to a destination by very and by. Uh, I don't know, something like this. Now for the bass sound, it's going to remove a lot of its tonal characteristics. So maybe if you want to do this with a in a bass, you also want to layer a sub underneath the the this high, like mid uh, frequency range kind of sound. Yeah, something like this. Uh, so yeah, pretty much. <laughs> this is an FM synthesizer because I, I I've read that in digital like uh, software synthesizers um, to achieve like proper FM modulation, like modulating pitch is kind of hard sometimes. So a lot of synths like Citrus and in FL Studio or I think FM8, they make a trick where they modulate actually the face and in when they are referring to as FM modulation in these big matrices, they are basically modulating phase, I think. I think I've heard Simless talking something about it in one of his tutorials, and that's how I learned the, the trick. Yo, so, hope this is helpful to you guys. Peace.